Hey everyone, this is Shanta and today I am redoing this look right here, which um, was a previous look that I had done before. It's a sushi flower, hip cat, and sketch um, look, all eyeshadows shadows by MAC. And um, I had done this before, it actually took three parts before, and some of the parts got um, shut down by YouTube because of the music on it. So today I'm going to redo this look and hopefully it'll just be one video. And um, I've already done this eye, um, so it'll hopefully cut down on the time as well. Next thing I'm going to do is prime the lid and I'm going to use uh, Rubenesque, which is a paint pot by MAC. And I'm going to put that all over. So this is not an ex uh, probably an exact redo because I did not look over the video to see what I did. Um, but given these colors, this is probably what I would do with it today. So, you know, you get the maybe the new and approved version. Um, sushi flower is a difficult color for a lot of people. I hear a lot of people saying, um, you know, that they really can't do anything with it. It's a very powdery color, um, so it does require a lot of um, application. And the way that I do it is a pat method. So you can see this is like one of my most beat up palettes, but that's Sushi Flower. That's uh, Hip Cat and that Sketch there. So those are the three colors we're using today. And what I do with the uh, Sushi Flower is I apply it to the lid in a patting motion. Now, um, for some of my darker sisters who have the desire to use this color, um, I recommend, and it's even something that I do for myself sometimes, especially with colors like uh, chrome yellow, um, is put on a white base, um, which, and that could be something as simple as a, um, a soft white um, eyeliner, um, which can create a an area on the eye where it's just it just picks up the color more vibrantly because it's almost like putting the color on straight white paper instead of trying to um, have a color show up against your actual natural skin tone which can be very difficult because like I said even some colors I have to do that for myself um, like yellows and even in some extent I could have did it with this one um, because you're getting a very muted um, version of this color. It, it looks so vibrant and I think that would, is the lore for people for it because it's such a vibrant looking color in the pan but it just doesn't quite translate very well and I think that what makes it one of Max, um, you know, more difficult colors but if you use a white base I think that should, um, you know, make it pop and make it look closer to what the color that it is. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take the hip cat and apply it to this corner. I miss having music in my videos. I was thinking about going, um, applying to become a partner um, since they had asked for one of my videos for me to submit it um, but not for my whole channel to be um, partner so with that kind of put a bug in my ear that perhaps you know maybe I should revamp the channel and actually apply to become a partner um, but to do that I kind of wanted to you know redo some of the videos that they had um, blocked before I submit my application and then they, you know, 
take them out all together and you know then they not be there for you guys so I don't know I'm still debating okay so while I felt like I had finished the eye on the other side of course when you start to do your other eye you know I don't know what it is about eyes but one never quite turns out the same way as the other and so then there's always that kind of adjustment so like for here I feel like I have to come up a little bit more with the um, with the um, sketch. Did I even tell y'all that's what I was doing? I don't think I did. I was talking too much. So yeah, so now I am bringing the uh, sketch a little bit up. Which creates the depth in the outer V and in the uh, crease line for me. Okay, so now that I have basically the look on the two eyes, I'm going to use a softer brush to kind of um, blend things in and um, get everybody looking more on an even keel. So it doesn't look so harsh on the uh, brow bone there. This one's a little bit harder because I thought I was done basically, even though I should have realized that once I did the other eye, I was going to see some things to change. And I put um, more um, concealer on this eye. But we shall work it out. The other thing about these colors too, is for some skin tones, um, it can almost appear, I want to say like bruising, almost. Um, so while it can be a gorgeous color in the pan, it just not particularly work for your skin tone. Um, using the tricks like, you know, putting the white base can help it, but um, some colors just um, do not blend very well with some skin tones. And um, I hear that complaint a lot from, you know, all nationalities, actually. Um, what I'm going to do is, since basically I think this is about as even as I'm going to get um, these two eyes, I'm going to go back to the concealer and kind of define that under eye area a little more. room underneath Now, I'm going to do the eyeliner, mascara part of it. So like I showed you guys before, my um, cheapy felt tip liner pen and my, oops, that's not it, my hip, hip uh, cream liner. And for the bottom, I'm going to use uh, Urban Decay's 24-7 liner which is one of my favorite liners because it stays put pretty well for me okay. and of course my mascara L'Oreal Voluminous which it's coming off and again there I go writing on myself with my mascara
All right, folks. I got to get a, uh, an applause there. All right, folks. There you have it. It is a redo of my Mac uh, Sushi Flower Hip Cat sketch look. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I'll put some pictures up so you can see it up close, and I will um, list the uh, products over there. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.